in the French style, we often speak of Louis, the Louis style. There are many Louis styles. What we see in the 18th century is a gradual progression from what was the Baroque, the Louis XIV, and later the Regent style, developed into the Louis XV. This is a period armchair, made in about 1740. Already there's a full movement in the legs, the apron, the arms are fully moulded. you notice the proportions of this armchair are quite petite, people were smaller then. Um, towards the 1770s, 1780s, there is a discovery of Pompeii and Herculanum around Naples. And they start to discover Roman ruins and houses with frescoes and remains of furniture. And there's a fashion in Europe for everything neoclassical. And very quickly, all these curvaceous feminine forms move into something much more neoclassical. This is an example made in about 1900 of a transitional style. You have neoclassical fluted pilaster-like legs and very geometric forms, but still retaining some of the curves of the previous Louis XV style. It then develops into the full Louis XVI, where everything is geometrical and very masculine in shape, with a lot of references to ancient Rome, with patera and uh, canthus leaves and rope patterns, things you would have found in, a, in sarcophagi and Roman temples.